curl my hair. My hair smells good. My hair feels good. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keishana Dupuy, and if you're not, uh -huh, you're loyal. Today, we are doing a product review of the As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Care line. It is olive and tea tree oil. This is the dandruff shampoo. And this is the dandruff conditioner. I am very excited to try these because I have a pass with dandruff. I also have a pass with eczema in my scalp. As you can see, my eczema is flaring, but if I may say so myself, I maintain it pretty well. And about eight years ago is when I had really bad dandruff and scalp eczema. I can say that I have definitely found some tips and tricks of how to maintain it, how to prevent dandruff, but sometimes my scalp just gets itchy and dry and needs some help and it gets some, some dandruff from time to time or my eczema flares up in there. So with that being said, I'm incredibly excited to try these just because I'm always intrigued and excited to find products that will help my dry and itchy scalp, but also help with my curls, keep my hair moisturized, all that good stuff. So if you guys have any other products you want me to try regarding dry, itchy, dandruff, shampoo, conditioner, treatments, anything like that, let me know. Now it's not that common that I struggle with dandruff and it's nowhere near what it used to be, thank God. But it's back, it's here. And I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek up here. Let's talk a little bit more about the products. It said it's for hair types three and four, up to 100% flake free. I used to use as I am all the time when I first started my natural hair transition. But then I stopped because it for a high schooler, it was definitely on the pricier side for me. But I can say their products work well. And I have noticed that the brand has changed a lot. They definitely have upgraded their packaging. Hopefully their formulas too. And from what I can see, they have. This actually has zinc in it, which is known to be good for any type of inflammatory skin issues, which is eczema. It does mention that it is good for relief of scalp inching, flaking, and irritation associated with dandruff and dermatitis. Dermatitis and eczema is not the same thing, but you can find both in your scalp. So I'm very, very, very excited to try this because it says it's going to fight and prevent dandruff, it uses natural ingredients to cleanse and moisturize the hair and scalp, detangle curls and coils, and improve ease of coils. That's the shampoo talking about detangling. And the conditioner says, fights and prevents dandruff, formulated with olive and tea tree oil to soothe dry and itchy scalp, detangle hair, improve ease of combing, and moisturize hair and scalp. Essentially the same thing. I'm excited. You use it as regular shampoo and conditioner. It does recommend that for best results, you use it twice a week or as directed by a doctor, which is fancy of them to say. I'm going to give it a try one time and hope for the best and see what, it, if I feel like it cleanses my hair, if I feel like it's stopping the itch that's right smack dab in the middle of my scalp, <laughs> I will definitely be using this again. It's, especially during the winter times, my hair dries out so much faster and my eczema flares, my scalp, it starts to struggle. My curls get a little unhappy. So for sure, if this works well, this would probably be the go my go-to every time I see any dandruff or eczema flare up up in there. Real quick, just wanna talk about the smell. Oh, you can smell the heck out of that tea tree. It smells so good. I personally love using tea tree for everything. Any type of inflammatory, anything, it's being used. Tea tree is bomb. So, and my hair loves olive oil, so. I have good vibes about this. Before I start, I am one, gonna show you guys a little bit of my dandruff right now. It's mainly right here and in the middle part of my hair. Right after that, off camera. As y'all know, when the dandruff starts up, I pull out my apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna dilute it in a spray bottle with some water. I'm just gonna section through my hair, spritz it through, kind of rub it, rub it so I can lift the dandruff, which will then give the shampoo an easier time with cleansing. And then just to help you tangle, cause as I said, my hair has been a mess this entire week and is on the dry side. I'm going to go to my beloved aloe and water detangler. I'm gonna just say it from now, aloe is bae. That's my quote, that's it. Aloe is bae. Okay, so thankfully it's on the lighter side. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can tell it's just been really dry in this front area, a little flaky, itchy, look. Yes, there's some product buildup, but a lot of this is actual dandruff. Let's do this. We're gonna hop in and see 
how we feel about this. And we're back. Where do I start? Hmm. One, I decided to not use the apple cider vinegar because I wanted to give the products a genuine opportunity to see if they truly work or since I knew it, it would alter the result. However, I did use my aloe water spray just to detangle throughout the process. The dandruff shampoo is absolutely approved. So great. Being that they both have tea tree oil, for my eczema gang, if your hands have eczema, if they're open, for anyone with sensitive skin, if your skin is sensitive to tea tree, you may want to put on gloves while doing your hair. It did not bother me. I felt the tingle. It has like that pepperminty tingle. I love when things have that. It was a tea tree. It just tingles to me. It doesn't hurt, so I didn't mind. What I did was I shampooed twice, as I always do. I did leave it in my scalp for at least a minute, just because, I don't know, I wanted to really make sure it got in there, lifted what it had to lift, relieved what it had to relieve, and I had a good experience. I genuinely don't have anything negative to say about the shampoo at all. I haven't looked at my scalp, so we're gonna have the grand reveal together. I really hope that I don't see any product buildup, that I don't see any dandruff. I can already say I don't feel any dryness. My hair did not have that squeaky clean feeling that I hate. I all around am very, very happy with this purchase and I think that as long as when I look at my scalp, there's no dandruff left there, go and buy her. Moving on to the conditioner. I, just playing, it is approved. So yes, these two things are approved. They are key approved. The conditioner was a pleasant surprise for me. I don't know why I was doubting that it was going to really be able to moisturize and improve, improve the ease of combing and detangle my hair while relieving the itch. I just didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't convinced. Here's how I use the conditioner. I made sure my hair was soaked, then I sectioned pieces, applied conditioner to each piece, combed through, and as I was twisting a section, any excess product and water that fell into my hand, I always lifted it and went back into my scalp because that's the whole purpose of this line. I left it in my hair for 10 minutes as I did the rest of my shower things and it. The slip this conditioner provided, that was the most shocking part. I was like, oh, you work. Okay, so, so far so good. I, I genuinely thought I was gonna come in here and be like, oh, you know, the conditioner didn't really moisturize my hair, left it feeling a little coarse. I thought I was gonna be like, oh, this was so squeaky clean. Moisturizing. Ooh, smells so good. See, my curls are here. Actually, they look really good, to be honest. All right, scalp check. Look it, yes. All right, this was the section I had shown. I'm happy. Not only does my scalp feel good to me, like it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel itchy, my hair doesn't feel dry. My hair feels actually really moisturized and I, it actually cleansed the heck out of my scalp and my hair because I had a lot of product buildup. So check on product buildup removal and dandruff removal and it does relieve itchy and dry scalp. I'm sorry for doubting you. The one thing I will say is my dandruff wasn't that bad. It was definitely really, really itchy. So in that sense, like I can, I can attest to that, but my dandruff wasn't that bad. So I do wonder, and I would like to hear from anyone who tried this product when their scalp was being ruled and had a lot of dandruff or anything like that. And tell me, was it just as good of an experience as I just had? Because this is, I'm happy. But also if you made it this far, I hope you already like to subscribe because what are you waiting for? Let's go through this journey together. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. DM me on Instagram. Also, comment below if you have a video request or product suggestion. And if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.